master the piano. My name is Isabel Tay and in this third lesson we'll be going through scales. Scales are a very important part of playing the piano. They help strengthen your fingers and help you increase speed and flexibility. After we do that we're going to be looking at a new piece and some more new material. I hope you enjoy this lesson. Welcome back to lesson three. We're going to be looking at a well-known tune today, Yankee Doodle. Before we do that, we're going to warm up with a really big scale. Now, this is your first scale. It's called the C major scale. So, scales are divided up into major and minor, and they replace the old church modes in about the 1600s. So, as far as technical exercises go, they're relatively new, depending on how old you are. So major scales are used for happier sounding music and are based on patterns of tones and semitones. Minor scales are also based on a pattern of tones and semitones, but they're used more for sad tunes. So let's go through and find out exactly what a tone is and what a semitone is. So semitones are the smallest distances between notes. So we're going to be looking at things like from C to the black key immediately above it. That's a semitone. Semitones can also be from black keys to white keys, like this. Or they can even be between two white keys, like E and F, and B and C. I sometimes tell my students that if there's nothing in between the two notes, it's a good chance that it's a semitone. So, like that, you can't fit anything else in, in that. There are no other notes that could be fitted in. Semitone, 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 semitone. So you get the idea. Semitones are next to each other. Tones are two semitones. So think of it like semicircles and circles. To make a tone, you have to include two semitones or make a triangle. So here's how this works. Let's take a look at middle C to D. That's a tone. So we go from C to this black key and then we pivot from here up to the D. So you can see that from C to D, there is something in the middle. There is a note that we don't touch, but it's still there. That makes a triangle, and that makes a tone. So think of tones as triangle notes. So from D to E, that's a tone, because we still have that black key in the middle. The other kind of tone we have to look at are, I guess you could call them right angle tones, because they make like a right angle triangle. We go from E up to the black key that's above F. So that's going to be a triangle. We could also reverse that, so we look at the black key below E to F. That's also a tone. So what exactly are these black keys called? Well, it really does depend. If we raise up a semitone, we call them sharps. So from C up, we now call that C sharp. D up is D sharp. F up the semitone is F sharp. G up is G sharp, A up is A sharp. Let's go through those again. C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp. If I go down the semitone, that means I start on the right hand side and I go down, then I'm going to be calling them flats. So here we go. From B down is B flat, A flat, G flat. From E down is E flat, D down is D flat. Alright, so the major scales are always based on a pattern, like I said before, of tones and semitones. The pattern is this, tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. Now your goal for this week is going to be to try and memorize that. Tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. You'll also notice that scales are from one octave to the next, so that means eight notes, but you've only got five fingers. You could have more or less, but that's okay. So five fingers. We've got five fingers, eight notes. We're going to have to do something to extend the hand and allow a better reach. What we do is this. We go one, two, three. Take your thumb and pivot it under. So I don't know if you can see that clearly, but I'm going to take my thumb and swing it under my third. Back to the thumb. Two, three, four, five. Let's try that again. That was the C major scale. C, D, E, pivot. One, two, three. Three, four, five, and back down again. Five, four, three, two, one. This time, take your third finger and jump over to that three on the E, D, C. So what we have is this. C, D, E, under. G, A, B, C. B, A, G, F, over. D, C. 
So that's the treble, that's the right hand. Now what we're going to do is the left hand. So again, start one octave below middle C. Count down eight notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You should still be on the letter C. And we're going to take a fifth finger and put that onto the C. Four goes onto D. Three, E. Two, F. Thumb, G. Now this time we take our third finger and we fly over onto the A. Then two on B. Thumb on C. Let's try that again. C, D, E, F, G, 3 goes over, A, B, C, back under, 2, 3, take your thumb, swing it underneath, onto the G, F on 2, 3 on E, 4 on D, 5 on C, let's try that, C, D, E, F, G, fly over, 3 on A, 2, B, thumb, C, fly under, G, F, E, D, now if you're really challenging yourself, we're going to try doing that hands together. Here we go. Thumb on C in the right hand, five on C in the left hand. One and five, two and four, three and three. Take the right hand, go underneath. One and two, two and one, left hand fly over, threes both hands. Four and two, five and one, and back down. Five and one, four and two, Threes together, left hand go under, two and one, one and two, right hand go over, threes together, two and four, one and five. On the music you'll see that you're going to be playing in hands together because the notes are aligned on top of each other. I've also written down the finger numbers or the fingering for you to see if it can maybe help you. So let's try this according to the music. One, two. of a crotchet and then we've got a whole bar rest. Remember that's four counts. One, two, three, four. What we do now is a broken tonic chord. A chord is one or more notes put together at the same time. Like that. So what we're going to do now is break it up. So the only letters we want are the first note of the scale, which is C, the third note, E, the fifth note, G, and we're going to touch that top C. So what we do is this, C, 1, use your second finger on the E, use your third finger on the G, use your fifth on the C, and back down, C, 3 on G, 2 on E, thumb on C, that was a broken chord, now we do the full chord, take thumb on C, 3 on E, 5 on G, and hold it down for four counts, 1, 2, 3, 4, let's try that, 1 and 5, 2 and 3, Three and two, five and one, and back down. And we hold all notes down, C, E and G, both hands, four counts, one, two, three, four. Let's do that exercise again. your warm-up. Now let's have a look at the song. Yankee Doodle is going to be a song you're familiar with hopefully. So again you'll notice we need both hands to play this piece. Have both thumbs sharing middle C. This is your C major contrary position and we're going to align the fingers outwards like that. Play the right hand first. Let's say the letters C, C, D, E, C, E, D. Crotch at rest. C, C, D, Left hand doesn't play. One, two, three, four. Right hand, C, C, D, E, F, E, D, off, off, D, E, off, E, two, E, four. Left hand, let's go. G, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. C, off, B, off, G, two, three, four. G, two, three, C, B, G, A, B, G, off, C. Sorry, those are C's, not G's. Oh my goodness. Let's see how that goes hands together. Be 
careful with the counting of the rhythm. If you get stuck, go back to doing it hand separately, right hand, then left hand, then play it bar by bar. Take your time, make sure you check everything really carefully, and I'll see how you sound next week. Well, I hope you enjoyed your third lesson today, talking about scales as well as Yankee Doodle. Remember, if you are feeling a little bit more adventurous and curious, always use that C major scale pattern, tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone, and see if you can transpose, that is, start on different letters and work out the scales. So you'll have to be confident with more of your sharps and your flats, but think of it as an adventure and you'll be fine. So good luck, and I'll see you next time.